Earnings really the driver of today's market activity. The S&P has fallen for two straight weeks, but today we're seeing the Dow up over 500 points, the NASDAQ 2%, S&P's up about a percent and a half, but the Russell, the small caps, they're the leader today. Earnings from Johnson & Johnson this morning lower than expected, and they actually lowered their guidance, yet the stock is up pretty significantly. Banks also continue their positive momentum after yesterday's Bank America report. Netflix, big one to watch after hours today, could really give us a sense of consumer discretionary spending. Travel stocks higher today. Yields continue to move higher with the 10-year at 293, the highest since 2018. CME FedWatch tool now pricing in a 93% probability of a 50-point hike at the May meeting. VALQ today, down about 5%, still up about 10% this month. Yesterday, ES options, 525,000 traded, lighter than we've seen over the last couple of weeks, 66% on the put side. Bitcoin, well, risk on along with the rest of the market today, up over 10% over the last couple of days.